deceive us. Hi, I wanted to uh, do a really quick video here, uh, just a couple minutes on a technique that a lot of people have difficulty with, um, and that is uh, how to, when you're plowing, how to plow a gravel uh, lot. Uh, sometimes you'll need to plow a lot. This is one I've done uh, quite a few times for a few years, um, and uh, there's a little section of asphalt here uh, by the doors uh, But the vast majority of this lot that you see all behind me is all gravel uh, There's also some unimproved surfaces uh, This works on something like grass too or a soft uh, situation um, You can see over here uh, It's sort of an unimproved area and I've already plowed this uh, Just some additional parking uh, that area there is just a mix between really grass and a little bit of gravel. Uh, over here though, the lot's uh, standard 57 gravel. Uh, you can see I've taken uh, one swath through here. Um, I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, you know, if you look down here, you get underneath of there. It's definitely gravel. So, typical gravel lot. Uh, you can see how it made a mi nice smooth swath through there uh, and you can see how even though I made a nice smooth swath through there I didn't tear up the gravel um, or anything so what's the secret you might think hey he's got feet on his plow well no I don't have feet on my plow uh, I'm using a boss V plow uh, it's dirty from being used but um, you can see around the back no feet on my plow uh, just a straight blade or just a straight uh, cutting edge uh, so yeah uh, I just use a regular cutting edge so how is it that I don't tear up the gravel well, I'm going to show you that here in a second um, first trick really is to be aware of your plow and what what you're doing with it uh, most of the time when you're plowing gravel you don't want to run your blade straight on uh, it's it's more likely that you're going to um, it's more likely you're going to dig up some gravel if you run straight up with your blade. What I'm going to do is try to show you a couple techniques. First technique that you can do that's easier if you just have a small area. First thing you can do is simply back drag um, the area with your plow. If the gravel is packed down pretty well, then you won't drag a lot of gravel out of there uh, unless the ground is wet or um, really soft. So let's take a look at that. I'm just going to drop the plow. And one thing that's crucial in this is that you take your plow out of the float position. You know, if you don't know what the float position is, when you put your plow down, um, when you put your plow down all the way, uh, it stays down that way if the surface drops your plow will hover up and down with the surface when you're plowing gravel You want to take it out of that float position So once it sits on the ground it will not dig any deeper and it just stays where it's at uh, So put it back to the neutral position much like if you're driving down the road
one technique of how you can back drag a lot uh, if you're plowing gravel. Um, however, you know, if you have a large lot, that might not be practical. Um, so let me show you how you can actually push a lot, uh, which is what I'll do with primarily the rest of this. A little bit slower than I normally would go. Uh, trying to hold the camera a little bit out the window while I'm plowing so I only have uh, control with one hand at a time instead of being able to operate the plow and the truck. So the next thing you want to know uh, when you plow gravel is you're going to want to angle your blade slightly like this. Um, you know you might not have a V blade uh, but if you just have a straight blade angle it slightly like you're going to do a wind row. Uh, secondly, pick your spot that you want to plow. Okay, as you get to the spot you want to plow, you'll want to you want to set your plow down on the ground, usually without moving. Then uh, you'll notice as you set your plow down, um, you know the weight comes off of your truck, uh, so you can see your truck raise up usually. Then once you see your truck raise up. Uh, you'll want to raise the weight back off of your truck. So right about there, when before the plow starts to come off of the ground, but you want to get up enough so that your truck, you want to get it up enough so that it um, the weight comes off your truck. Um, at that point, you want to keep it in the non-float position, and you're ready to push. Um, now you may have to make on-the-fly adjustments uh, so keep your hand on the switch as you plow just in case you start to dig in a little bit you can listen to hear if you're scraping any gravel um, you most likely uh, if if you have a high spot or something like that and you get ready to dig in uh, then you might have to raise your plow up just bump it up as you plow a little bit See, we made another clean swath. Now let's go again. I'm going to drop the plow down. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit. I'm going to get the plate um, to get the weight off of it uh, so that the cutting edge is just hovering at the surface. Is how you can do a, a good job plowing gravel without tearing up the customer's parking lot uh, and you can see we've had pretty good uh, results uh, it's not going to be perfectly even uh, you might have a little bit of snow on the lot uh, usually when you plow gravel you can only get it down to about uh, an inch or so you cannot usually get all the snow off the lot now as I come back and clean up the uh, trails um, then you know I'll scrape a little bit off of there you have to be extra careful but use the same technique about uh, drop your plow raise it up just enough so the weight comes off the truck but leave the blade at the same location
just about done wrapping up this gravel lot here. Um, uh, just brings to mind uh, when you have a customer with a gravel lot, um, you definitely don't want them to come through after the snow melts a week later and see that you've pushed half the gravel to the edges. Uh, so you want to make sure you stay on top of things. That's one of the worst things that can happen when you do a gravel lot. Some guys won't even take on gravel lots because it's a pain and you know your cutting edge will catch and your plow will just keep tripping, tripping, the springs keep tipping forward and it's very frustrating. Uh, so unless you learn how to plow gravel, don't bother with it, but at the same time if you're careful and you can do a good job, um, take a couple of these tips then you won't push gravel all over the lot. You'll have a happy customer. You'll make some money and keep your equipment uh, in great so, shape. Uh, hopefully some of those tips have helped you. Um, and there you have it. That's how you plow a gravel lot. Uh, and you get great results doing it. You just want to go slow and be careful. Uh, use those techniques to keep the weight off the cutting bar. And, um, and uh, as you get better at it, You'll be able to just drop the plow and almost stop, boom, right when it hits the ground, give it a bump, and you'll be right off to the races. So you can see that we've got our all plowed. And you can see it looks pretty nice and even uh, about the whole way across. Uh, so hopefully those tips will help you next time you have to plow on gravel. Uh, good luck out there, snow warriors. Uh, stay awake, stay alert, and keep at it.